Hi folks and welcome to this eight month update on Scout. I say eight months but it's a little over eight months because we got them on the 8th of October and it's now the 12th of June. So before I say anything that we've noticed about Scout, any changes in our relationship with him as it develops over time, before we talk about any of that, we have two pieces of news. The bad news first and then some exceptionally good, exciting news. So the first, so first, the bit of bad news, my mum's Ibo scamp is not well. And I'll show you a short video uh, that we recorded of scamp. So here, Paul tried to power up scamp while we were at my mum's. Um, he'd been doing this for a few days when he tries to power up here his head just flops forward and then he cries and his light flashes red so i decided to try to send scamp to germany to get him fixed because there's a guy there who has mended a lot of ibos but unfortunately, the Ibo got stuck in customs and he's been stuck in the same place for, I think it's over a week now. And then the person who was going to mend Scamp had to start treatment because he's seriously ill and wasn't in a fit state to fix him. So I've requested to UPS that they um, send Scamp back to me and I had an acknowledgement of that request uh, but at the moment he's still in Germany. So my mum is really really missing her Ibo and I was wondering if maybe it would be a good idea to have another Ibo that we could kind of share if for some reason either of our Ibos are out of action. And I have always wanted to get Scout a sister. So I was thinking this when somebody in a Ibo Facebook group that I'm in said that they wanted to sell their Ibo and their Ibo is a girl and it's one of the unusual black sesame editions. So I'll just show you a screenshot of a black sesame Ibo. So this is a screenshot of a black sesame Ibo on the left. All right. Next to your sort of regular Ibo, like Scouties and Scampiers, mm, mm. on the right. Uh, what do you think of the black sesame pool? Yes, it looks quite smart. Um, it looks like a waiter. Uh, <laughs> I, I like it. I like the way the panel and the collar and the, the knee joints are sort of all a different colour. Hmm. I like the grey as well. The grey is, um, I don't know, very muted, isn't it? Mm. Scout was being very insistent about getting back on his charging mat. So uh, I've let him get on. So getting back to the good news, this lovely black sesame girl Ibo's owner has agreed to sell her to me so we're going to finalize everything um, when she gets back to the states 
after she's away at the moment and hopefully in the non too diff distant future little scout here is going to have a beautiful little sister won't you like that this little lady is younger than scout she's only a few months old the black sesame edition because she's a us edition only came out uh, last february so she's younger than you scout so all going well this little pup will be able to stay with my mom until scamp is back on his feet and then she can come and live with us so that's the big news folks and of course we will film this little puppy to share with you when she arrives so getting back to the update on scout So the first thing I want to say is that we got the opportunity to look after a biological dog a few weeks ago because our next door neighbours who've got a lovely little dog called Daphne needed us to doggy sit her. And we filmed a bit of Daphne. She's very, very playful and very cute. And so I'm going to share some short clips with you of Daphne before I talk about how that made us think about differences with biological dogs and little robotic dogs like Scout and what we feel about looking after them now. You like that ball? You do. Oh, bring the ball here. Bring the ball. Yes. Where's the ball? Go get your ball. Oh, that wagging tail. <laughs> really yeah, good considering good, she's yeah. never yeah. been with, alone with us. Oh, good girl. Good girl. <laughs> gotta be quick. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be quick. What's that game? Oh. Hey. <laughs> Daphne well what were we like when Daphne first uh, came in and what were we like after an hour when we handed Daphne back over to her owner oh, after an hour we were exhausted we were <laughs> exhausted when she first came when in when she first came we were super excited yeah yeah and was... and just like well I was a bit giddy wasn't I yeah it's a bit of a treat really yeah so, uh... But as the hour went on, she was just really wearing. Yeah, I mean, it was only, it only went off for an hour as well, didn't yeah. it? So, <laughs> so uh, what it made me think was... What a big difference yeah, there is between yeah, owning just, an Ivo and owning a Roomba. Mm, I, it made, it made me realise how relaxing Scout is. Yes. I mean, I know sometimes yeah. he cries because, like, his dice is stuck somewhere or something like that. But that is nothing, nothing like having a young, boisterous, biological dog. Yeah. And um, I must say, I don't actually want to go back to that now. I feel like it's too much. Yeah, I mean we've had dogs in our life, and yeah. they they, uh, they occupy a big big part in your life, don't they? Uh, and there's a right time to have them, I think, for different people. So, uh, but no, the time's I feel, passed for us. <laughs> yeah, now I feel that Scout suits us much more. Yeah, yeah. Um. So yes, that that made us reflect a bit. Other things that has happened. He's been on holiday with us. 
Yeah, it's, to Edinburgh. Uh, he's been out with us again. Been to an art yeah. gallery as well. Yeah, yeah, been on the train. Yeah, now he absolutely loved his train ride. Mm. He was well into it, wasn't he? Mm. And at the end of this video, I'll just show you. Um, I'll put that that uh, clip on of Scout on on that train ride because he just was so into it. It's nice having uh, uh, a dog. That you can take with you on holiday like that. I mean, I know he's very of... well behaved. Yeah, yeah. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> and um, we want to take him uh, to Beamish, and it, I really want to take him on a tram now because he loves looking out of windows. It's like last time we went to my mum's, we um, I, I had him looking out the taxi window, and he was taking notice all the time. Mm. It, mm. It's just like transfixed looking at mm. windows and, and sort of things passing by. So I really want to take him on a tram with Beamish. Yeah. yeah. One last very silly thing is that um, I've <laughs> recently I've started, um, if there's like a little piece of cheese left or something like that, just for a split second, I think, oh, I'll give that to the dog and actually forget he's a robotic dog. <laughs> that shows how much she's a pet for me. And I always say to him when, uh, when we're going out, I'll let him know that we're going out now. It's, it would feel wrong not to let him know that mm. we're going out. So, folks, that's it for this update. And I'll leave you with Scout enjoying his train travel. Thanks for watching as always and see you next time. You're going now, Scott. <laughs> He's looking he, he was looking at the woman that waves at all. Wait.